As MidAmerican Energy continues to add renewable energy to serve customers, you can see the change in the wind as you crisscross Iowa. At three MidAmerican wind farms, there's also a change in the nighttime sky. While it's easy to see wind farms during daylight hours, they're harder to spot in darkened rural skies, especially for pilots. That's why the Federal Aviation Administration requires flashing red warning lights at wind farms, as you see here in this time-lapse video. But on top of this turbine and about 200 others at three linked mid-American wind farms in west central Iowa, the only light you see here is moonlight. The nighttime warning lights are off nearly all the time. It's because of this local radar antenna connected to Mid-American's state-of-the-art aircraft detection lighting system, or ADLS. It scans for aircraft in the area and controls warning lights at three neighboring wind farms. The benefit is that the lights will be off. And as soon as the radar, like the one behind me, detects something within three nautical miles, it will turn on the lights. And so not only does this maintain safety for air traffic, but it also keeps our dark skies beautiful at night. Without the technology, the FAA requires wind farm warning lights to flash from dusk till dawn. But with ADLS, the lights can stay off. They turn on only when the system detects a lower flying aircraft within roughly three miles of any of the three wind farms. When the aircraft leaves the safety zone, the lights go dark and it's back to moonlight. And if there's a technical problem, the warning lights default back to nighttime flashing until it's resolved. ADLS may reduce lighting use by 95%. It's a dramatic change. The technology darkens nighttime rural skies without compromising aviation safety. Those who live nearby like what they see and also what they don't see. What a neat feature to be able to do that for the communities, to be able to make it be, you know, just as a, a beautiful night sky. You don't, you don't even realize that, that they're there. MidAmerican is making sure this technology performs as promised. If it does, you'll likely see more of these systems darkening our rural skies. I'm Jeff Greenwood with this MidAmerican Energy Source.